Hi, Hi everybody. Guys. My name is Lereko Maloma and this is my twin sister, Little Maloma. Maloma. She said it for me. But anyways, yes, it's Little Maloma. <laughs> yes, and we're so excited to, to be, be here, here. Yes. Uh, to tell and share our journey, our story. Yeah. It means a lot to us and we yes. hope that you enjoy it. Yes. And uh, basically we are, are called the Maloma twins. Yes. The adoptive twins. Yes. Um, we were adopted um, and um, that's our story and this is why we're here we're yeah, here to share it story. yeah yes, it's a very special story because we're just walking into it and we're embracing it more now so, yeah um yeah. i hope you guys enjoy it so you can start where so basically how old are you and where do you come from okay so uh we're 33 years old yes and uh we're originally from soweto so yes. they say but we're born in we were we're, we're born in Joburg, basically yes. so that's that's what the story is about so anyway let's go yeah so basically, Rona, uh, we we were adopted at the age of three yeah. by a wonderful lady called Mapizo Maloma. Yeah. Uh, she was um, she couldn't conceive, but we're gonna tell the story before she 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 found us before God and her connected us connected her to us. Yeah. So our story is that we were we were left at a Shabin yeah. uh, when we were three years old yeah. by my mom who is from the Eastern Cape. So what she did is I think she came to Joburg. We don't know the story, we we're quite young, but the story was the story was that she came to, to Johannesburg to find life. She was young and I'm sure she felt pregnant and she found herself with two kids yeah. uh, I can't giving, imagine I can't imagine giving birth to twins and yeah. they're over and be, being overwhelmed right being overwhelmed and yeah. being by yourself in yeah. Johannesburg it's a big city uh, then I think I what the there's a document we were given like when we were 30 by my mom my or my or I quite think of my original mom by our adoptive mom uh, what she did she gave us this document this document basically told us exactly what the procedure was who we were at the time before she took over us so my mom then um my my biological mom then gave us up she went to a shibin and looked for a gentleman called mr Magheza, right yeah so mr Magheza then um uh she apparently actually did not was not looking she was looking for an overnight stay yeah so that overnight stay happened but then she left she stuck with she stuck with the two twins. kids you know what i mean and now I, I don't know what happened there but the document doesn't say exactly what happened there but um i i i, I can assume that then we ended was up overwhelmed in... we were we ended up at a police station and then gone to uh, a home so we were fostered for i don't know for how many years but we were in our foster home yeah. um so we're not sure we're not quite sure from birth till three yeah, what, happened what happened in between that yeah but what we do know is that from the time we were adopted mm -hmm. um from the time sorry we were fostered we lived with a um a, um a la um, old lady called Mrs. Mrs. Njangasi yeah. who took over who took us well I can a fast being fostered means that people get paid to look after children yeah so we were under her care yeah um at the time and when we were under her care what were, we, what were, what were we named when we were under her care Tell right me. so uh while we were under her care yeah we were named um Nomnyama and nom Yes. Right. And uh, those were the names that the state might have given us. Yeah. Right. Because those are not the names that my biological mom gave us. Yeah. So we were named nom Yama and nom Shope. And from that time, we lived with this lady Komdeni in Soweto. Mm -hmm. And that's when our journeys then began. I'm. I am not sure if she took us from three years from from birth or until three. So basically, we we <clears throat> at three years. We were then legally adopted yeah. by um, by by my adoptive mom, right? So we 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 don't have any other memory or anything else um, regarding before we were three years old. Yeah. So we go about the information that is written on a document, yeah. and that information could be accurate. It couldn't be accurate. So even our date of birth in the document is completely different, different from what we are right yeah. now i mean so the document says we are we, we are 33 we said that right yeah but the document says we were born in 1985 so then that makes us i don't know it doesn't matter <laughs> i'm 33 guys <laughs> so anyway so that's oh, what okay. the document says okay and from there then god sent us my mom who wanted to adopt yeah right and um when my mother adopted us we were three years old and we moved in with her and her husband at the time. Yeah. 
and um, you must understand that the information which is told you about us being left at the Shabin was only told to us when we turned 30. Yeah. So um, we we were a little bit, you know, taken aback, you know, like we, we only found out the information at 30 and um, now we're only reliving it or yeah. trying to figure out who we are and wh where we come from because yeah. we actually have no clue. We, we have from. no clue what clan we're from. We don't know whether we're Kosa or Zulu. Oh, we know now. Oh, we think we know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I always think, I always say, yeah, you, we think we know. We yeah. think we, we would like to think that um, we know. The right? information on that document On that is document is, in, is, is correct. Anyway, so from zero to three, we had no information. Nobody told us anything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, my mother... My, my my adoptive mom then gave us the, well, told us that we we're adopted at seven years old, mm -hmm. right? But she didn't give us the full information. Yes. I don't think we were even interested. I Maybe we were not ready. At age seven, we were probably didn't even understand Stand what anything. that even meant. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we were just yeah. put into a family and then we just jowled with it and went with it. Yeah. But then at the age of 30, we get a document that spe specifically tells us the names that we were, sorry, the, our names, the age, um, which is Nomnyama uh, Nomshopa, and then it also tells us the age. It tells us our Jorge Watosa, which mm -hmm. right now, we're, with our adopted parents, we grew up in a Pedi family. We're, we grew up in a Pedi yeah. family. My mom finally says when we went into the Pedi family, we spoke Zulu. Because yeah. at the foster home, they they spoke Zulu. So we went into the home speaking Zulu. We had to transition from being Zulu speaking children, then we had to be Pedi speaking children yeah. at some point. So my mom then took took a decision to adopt because she was struggling to have children and then um, um, she in initially actually wanted to have just a boy and then God was like girl I can do better for you I can yeah. give you two I can throw you extra two banana a headache yeah. that's what I always say to her so then um, she threw in um, God threw in an extra two for my mom twice the blessing which was us so um, she raised us until we are who we are right now and um, what else did the document say? Well, I mean, uh, it, it, there's quite a bit of information that was given on that document. But I think more than anything, that was the journey that we wanted to go through, yeah. which I've been longing to, to, to have. For the longest time. Growing up and not knowing where you come from was yeah. an issue for me. You know, I, 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 she was more on the, I don't care where I come from. Yeah. I don't even want to know yeah. who gave birth to me. And on my side was like, girl, I want to know who I look know. like. Yeah. I want to know who I look like. Do I look like my dad? Do I look like my like my mom? Mm. You know, what the attributes that we have right now, where do they stem from? You yeah. know, and that was my biggest thing. And I also wanted to know, I knew I was not baby. You know, I knew, um, and, and when you watch the shows like Wokumbuleka, you yeah. then remember that, you then recall that it's important. To People, know. especially in South Africa, it's important. Um, where you come from, your culture is very important. Yeah. yeah, you know, and we wanted to. I was, we we just wanted to know. Yeah. Who so we then are. my mom, then when we turned thirty, for some reason thought that it was the right time for her to give us the documentation. So we got the document, and then we started searching for our family. So that was the most. And you know, when we received the document, we I think we received the documents on Thursday. By by Saturday, we already had information. Yeah. That's how very quick. quick. That how that's how quick it was. And in my mind, I'm like. Had she given this the information earlier, a lot could would, have happened. A lot could have happened. So yeah. we got the document, say, on a Thursday. Friday, is a really cool Facebook. Facebook is the best, guys. If anything, if you're looking for your parents or looking for anything, always the, you'll always find somebody that's linked to the surname that you're looking for. Yeah. So on the document, it said Potwana. I then went to Facebook, looked for our Potwana on Facebook, started asking and probing questions, and I found myself on some um, forum where there were Potwanas on there. But luckily, Mudimu Le Mudimu, God being God, I found a, a, a girl who was looking for the very same lady. How do you we look? for the for. exact same person and yeah. that was very bizarre for us because we're looking for Gladys um, Potwana yeah. and she's on Facebook looking for the exact same, same person. person and we're asking ourselves why is she looking for that person yeah. but anyway at that time we're like yeah so yeah t we're also looking for, for the, the same, same person. person and she says no but that's my mom no she wasn't she, she didn't say that oh okay anyways we then looked I then um, DM'd the little girl and said look um, we're looking for my mom this is the name uh, we, we got we just received this document a few days ago but as, I, as I'm actually typing I see there's a comment on that comment there's a, a gentleman who says 
something but then i then say to myself i'm like you know what let me just um dm this gentleman and find out if she knows anything about um gladys potana which is my my biological mom he then um responds within i think three hours he already responded and said look i know that lady and she's my sister i was blown away and within three days she he was like i know that lady and that lady is my mom and that lady that you found my name on is my sister i was like hey i'm looking for this woman do you know this woman is like that woman is my mother and I was like, yeah. so that makes you my brother, right? I was like, oh my God, I'm not my brother. But it was because I was never into the idea of looking. I yeah. only started looking because I had a document in front of me. The person who was really, really into it and very excited about it was That's my me, sister. Yeah. So then they then said, um, can we meet up and can yeah. we uh, discuss this whole thing? Then they came through and they told us exactly what my mom, what my biological mom story was about. That was... I think for me that was the saddest part and the saddest part in fact was when they told us when they came through that she was late yeah i think i think more than anything uh we were excited we have siblings right mm -hmm. and i remember the day we met them uh my husband then said just yes, you guys look the same yeah and we're just weird. like no we don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're like, like in denial right you guys you have so much of resemblance it's yeah, insane it was crazy. and i mean when we first met it was so much emotions and so much you know because because we don't know each other we're just assuming they're family but we were so happy to meet them but i mean then when we spoke and they spoke and then they said they have extra fingers and then my sister has extra fingers and the other one had extra fingers with their okay, kids no. had extra fingers no, like, it was just bizarre it was a a, a ball of excitement yeah you know what I mean? But at the same time, when they told us information like, ah, guys, we don't know you as Nom Nyama and Nom Shope. We were like, hang, hang on a minute. We? Hang on a minute. And like, no, my mom said, you guys, Sharon. Sharon. And I'm yeah. like, but from Adim. Then they, they went in deep and said, um, and so we're like, so how else, how, what else you guys look like? My mom didn't, you guys say you're 87. My mom didn't say you guys are 87. Yeah. You guys were born in 1985. We're just like, no. We're like, no. Right. And I'm like, I told them straight up. I'm like, listen guys, y'all can keep that age because I'm keeping, I'm a Scorpio. They even said we're born on the, in, in October. October. That yeah. was like the worst part. Yeah. Meaning that our entire life, we live this life we don't we know we were, uh, we were already we don't look our age yeah and then uh, they're gonna add on some more some more years yeah. it was emotionally um overwhelming it was overwhelming and i think i think what is more overwhelming is that we're hearing the story from them yeah. and not from my mother Mama, yes who who they we said she was sick yeah they said she was not well mm -hmm. and she passed on right and that was very sad for me so so we wanted to know why she abandoned us mm. why she she gave us away and why and 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 why, why she didn't so look easy? for us why didn't she look for us yeah. why what happened no the worst part guys the worst worst part was that my brothers then said you know that she used to work in ridgeway yeah we lived in ridgeway over 10, 10 years, years. That was the worst part. Meaning, it could have happened that we walked past, we were in the same taxi, we were in the same cinema, in the same whatever shopping the, the, center, anything. You know that that cut deep. Yeah, that really cut deep. But it cuts deep that there are women out there. I don't know if it was easy for her. I don't wanna. I don't wanna paint her with a black brush. Maybe she was going through her own emotional turmoil. Do you know what I mean? But because I'm a mom, I can only imagine. Um, I can't imagine myself. Um, letting go of my kids and not reaching out and wanting to find out where what's they are what's happening to them but the interesting part my brother's very um a very emotional and and and, and she, thinks quite like a bit and he says do you know what your mother my mother was going through a lot yeah. my mother was an alcoholic mm. you know my mother had de was suffering from depression, depression. and I sympathize so much with her mm -hmm. I, and and the funny thing I don't know about you but for me I never hated her because I can't hate something you I don't, don't know, know. That's in fact the only thing that I wanted was answers mm -hmm. <laughs> more than anything mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and when 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 my brother said my mother suffered you know because nobody just drinks yeah. you know nobody just you know you can't you can't she left Eastern Cape for a reason mm. and she never went back there for a reason yeah you know and that I think that was the hardest part for me that she died a lonely person probably yeah, yeah. you know uh, uh, she died with regret longing like, you know and longing you know and when i heard that from my brother i felt so much so much so much 
sense of relief that yeah. I can forgive her. Yeah. You know, because it's if, very if important. There were, if, if there were any unresolved emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, Why did you leave me? Yeah, Why yeah, didn't you, you know? Yeah. 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 So um it 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 it's 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 kind of sad when I hear my brothers um reinforcing mm. what pain my mother was going through, yes. you know. And it, it wasn't it wasn't an easy thing to hear because mm. um we he even he even said something like it's women's month and we go through so much. People are depressed, people are going through a lot and Rona in the black culture we we then um we we talk it out with no bamuloil or whatever the case may be, but she was genuinely going, going through, through a lot, you know, yeah. and 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 leaving kids couldn't have been easy for her, yeah. you know, and 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 she probably did did want to meet us one day, yeah, you know, because we don't know. And for me, I felt I felt a sense of um, a sense of. Uh, empathy, if yeah. I is the right word to use, right? I was empathetic because before I was just like, yeah, no, who How do you their your child? children? You know, because yeah. we, we we judge from a, no, a, a place, place of, of a place not of knowing. not knowing, right? Yeah. But also, it was a relief for me as well because it felt like if she she didn't just leave us, she also left the other two. Mm. So the, the, it must have been a, a deep wound. It, it felt like a trend, also what she was yeah, doing. Because yeah, yeah. She she before she gave well she gave us up. And had four other children. Yeah. And when she had four other children, the in-laws said, "Let's take the other two. You raise the other two because the other two are younger, yeah. right?" And from that space, she then said, "Sure, take them." But then she lost contact. Yeah. She she didn't know her other kids were in crazy end, and mm. she's in Joburg. She doesn't know where they are. And we, uh, how do you even? How do you even? You know you. You lose four kids now. Yeah. You have no, you have no way. You have no idea where your kids are. Mm. So what do you do then? Drown yourself in alcoholism, in yes. right? And 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 that's why I felt Shem Mwabati was going through quite a bit, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. But yeah. also the another story that our brothers told us when we were with them was that our, our dad as well, because we were hoping that okay, so he's yeah. he's uh, he's gone. I mean, she's gone. Our link is gone, and we were hoping that maybe we would find a link. Our dad, then is maybe we we'll find our dad's side. And we doing but our also, YouTube channel. That and we were sitting there, actually, and thinking, you know, your dad has passed away. And we're just like, like everybody's just oh. passing away. Like, why so is everybody what passing away? Information are we gonna get? You know, because now we're sitting at the dead end. And unfor unfortunately for me, I feel like we still need to do a, a, a sibling DNA test because yeah. I feel like I, I want to do a, a sibling DNA test. And I'm not, I'm not disputing the fact that they look like us, but it'll be great to put a stamp on it and mm -hmm. be 120% mm -hmm. sure, sure that yeah. they are our, our siblings, siblings, right? Yeah. And, and, and maybe one day we'll click Mr. Magaza or if you're out there watching and you have kids, kids. If or you family, are. Your, 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 your uncle, whoever. I don't know, you know, baby. Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. one day we'll we'll go on the journey of looking. Yeah. We're just not doing it right now yeah. because we're still dealing with what, what we found, what already, we found the so information far, we have. You know? So that information was given to us, and it was it was difficult. It was. It is. A, it's, it's a very hard pillow to to take in or to swallow. But the one thing that we 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 learned from it is that we needed to be we needed to be patient because it comes also with you know uh, the responsibility. Now we are instant older sisters, yeah. and that was for me was a little bit um, it overwhelming. Took, yeah, it was. It, it took me by surprise mm. because they're younger, and the minute. I don't know about them, but I feel like even even if, if the tables were turned and I knew that I had older sisters, there would be some kind of oh my god, we now have people that we can talk to, people that we can we can um, rely on and whatever. But I I almost felt like I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that kind of responsibility. Yeah. And I remember the other because we've just known. It's just always been you and I, yeah. and nobody else. Yeah, you know, even in our adoptive family, my mom couldn't have kids, so it was just me and my sister. It was just you and me, yeah, and nobody else. So to add an, on an extra four, it's like, hey, yeah, it's it deep. was quite. It, for me, it was it was a lot to take in because I'll get a phone call of please do this, please, do, and I'm just like, I'm an instant sister, like. Yeah. Why? Like, why would you do that, God? I, I literally would ask why, you know, but I guess everything has, um, it's purposeful. We will learn as we go why it happened yeah. this way. Do you know what I mean? I think also the biggest thing that I also want to mention and not put it out and not, it'd be sad if I didn't mention it. My mom who brought us up is an incredible human being yeah. because you can't, 
you it's not easy to take on other people's children yeah you know? not just one not just one but, but two, two yeah. right and 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 we've we had our journey we've had our struggles yeah. with her but we've had such an amazing relationship with my mom and she's brought us up so well yeah and she's given us the opportunities that she could have yeah. herself you know we yeah. can't the only thing we can be is be grateful to my mom and 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 also put out there that adoption is if, if one door closes the other one opens definitely, right definitely. and for my mom it was that because she got two for the price of one sort of like one yeah. buy one get one free sort of thing and she's in she was she, she's happy with it you, you know? know for me um when we started this journey and we wanted to open up an o npo for this was that because we know how the women right now most women are struggling with fertility yeah fertility is a real thing yeah it is. you know it is a real thing but we're here to say to you that it is a real thing but also there is god 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 made made a plan yeah for for my mom not just fertility there are a lot of homeless people homeless children because we were homeless yes yes and so i'm saying to the people that don't have children yeah, 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 that yeah. it's not the end of the the world or yeah. the end of the road there is other options yeah. and uh, in south africa it, there's no it's there's, it's not guessed enough that there is an option for you to save yeah. a child or to even save yourself from whatever whatever void that you have that you want to give or you want to have kids you can it's possible the 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 journey is 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 when you have the right support we Steve. have our own uh issues you know with adoption or not necessarily adoption growing up as an, an adoptive, adoptive child home. and how yeah and how it how it how it made us feel mm, you know mm, at some mm. at some point there were moments where if my mom shouts at me i'm just like for two not my mother you yeah know? but that's a child kind of like yeah uh, situation yeah you know but there are also moments for her maybe one day um, um she probably feels the like same, why did the same I, emotion sometimes she probably, probably feels why did i, I even go, go for yeah. this because I, if i was alone i wouldn't have to worry about, about two little things. girls you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. but the point the the main focus on this is that we 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 are privileged enough that uh we we were we were i think we were one of the first batch of black human cuz uh of cuz mom mom also was uh interviewed when she adopted yeah. the when she adopted us at some point uh, earlier on in the 90s okay she was one of the black one of the few, bla few black, black people, people that, that adopt, were, start, started, started adopting adopt. legally i'm saying i'm not talking about adoption of her bangangwana kazini whatever we're talking about real uh uh case yeah, scenarios yeah, do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. so it is what it is i hope everybody has um has found um just a little bit of tinsy wind mustard seed of hope yeah. that there is hope and that um um you've learned that uh, adoption is is an option yeah and adoption is It's godly great. we we as parents we go through a lot as parents as and and in homes there's a lot of drama in homes but the 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 one thing that i want to encourage people with especially the married the 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 if you're married you're in in a marriage and they they is separation keep your children guys women ladies keep your children what did vusi say what did vusi say he said that kids eat what we eat yeah take your children don't they, it's it's don't, not an don't option don't make children and give it to somebody else to raise for you yeah you know take up responsibility take up the the um it's it's very my if had my mom kept us we would have probably ate what she had eaten mm. she wouldn't have to worry about uh what we're going to eat tomorrow you know mo dimu mo kholo jang that you think we're not going to go through the day and you go you do the go, day you do go through so, the day and so i think the moral of the story is don't don't leave your children with other people and expect them to be the ones that take care but how does the situation yeah my mom and where she came from, from yeah. in terms of um why she left the eastern cape and and yeah and, and, and if there's depression issues and you are not coping there's always there's always help out there there's always there's always people that are out there to assist and to to help with emotions you know you don't have to drink yourself you know to sleep to mm. make everything feel better i i can't imagine what she was going through and not having to see her children grow up and not having you know to 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 make sure that her children are eating so she was depression probably going to a real thing yeah. depression is a real thing and there is there there you can get help absolutely you can get help you don't have to suffer by yourself mm. there's no reason why you need to to go to the bottle or gamble or take take drugs whatever it is there is help there is there are people that are put in place in our lives where they can assist us talk to your family talk to your friends and and just 
just hang on to one thing that you know another thing that i always say with the amount of children in homes right i always say if i if god allows you and i we did promise ma that we if we were okay financially we'll yeah. definitely adopt i think i will adopt because i was adopted yeah. you know and i want to give um that little child that's sitting in a home in a in a in a cot bed and doesn't know who their mother is mm. you know i have it's a real old guys and i just wonder how they feel they yeah. also want to be loved yeah. i don't think if my mom didn't adopt us would still be those 18 year olds or 30 33 year olds that don't have, have a sense of belonging absolutely we have a, a sense, sense of, of belonging, belonging we now. do we, we do. are grateful to my mom because had she not adopted us we wouldn't be in that space that we are right now mm. you know and that's why i say we should also encourage people to adopt so my sister and i were adopted together which was She's a great. huge blessing yeah. i cannot imagine what it would have been like or felt like had i been adopted by just by myself or by a separate yes right you go there i go there yeah. you know god was great in that regard that they kept us together because yeah. then it would have been another story that i'm looking for my twin sister and i probably would have known yeah. but but god kept us together and we grew up together now we have our own kids and we now understand how important family is hi i'm lereko maloma and i'm letlotlo maloma and, and we, we have been, been through, through the, the most, most.